What is up guys, it's Fix and Fit Me here and today we are doing a full restoration, repair and customization on this 128GB iPhone 7 Plus. So yeah guys, I bought a lot of two iPhone 7 Pluses and an 8 Plus. This is one of the phones included in that lot. This phone is in horrible condition. The housing is very warped and bent. It is pretty scratched up with very deep marks in it. And as you could tell, the screen is inoperable. You can barely use the dang thing. And it has a mind of its own. So today we are going to be converting this into a custom black and red 128 gigabyte iPhone 7 Plus. I have a new red housing right here, it has all the pre-installed parts. I have a brand new battery, and I also have a brand new screen. Uh, I have to use an aftermarket battery as the original battery in this is 78% and I don't really want to put a old crappy battery in a new fully refurbished phone. So let's go ahead and let's get started. This phone is somewhat taken apart as it, I had to swap another screen onto it to fully test it out and make sure it actually works properly. Uh, so yeah, that's why there's some parts over here and that's why there's going to be some parts missing inside. So let's get started. First we're going to go ahead and take it all apart. We're going to take the motherboard out and we're going to transfer all the parts into this housing. There we go, we got the screen off. Go ahead and put that to the side. And this battery should, yep, this battery had no uh, tabs on it as the old battery that was originally in here was toast. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started. The first thing that we are going to do is I am going to go ahead and switch this black Apple logo into this housing as this logo looks much better than this silver logo. So let's go ahead and let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and do it off camera because it is pretty hard and it is takes a long time to do. I'll go ahead and cut back when I'm done. Alrighty, went ahead and got the uh, old Apple logo out of the old housing. Let's go ahead and let's get this uh, new Apple logo out. I'm going to do this one on video as these ones are much easier to do as this is a aftermarket housing. So let's get started. And there we go, just like that, we have the new Apple logo out of the new housing. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up real quick and then we'll go ahead and put the old Apple logo into the new housing. Alrighty, went ahead and cleaned it off the best I could. This is uh, like the way it was manufactured, so Nothing I could really do about it. So let's go ahead and let's grab our adhesive. I'm gonna use some B7000 for this as it is a much better and easier way to do this because of how small the space is. There we go, got some adhesive down. Now we can go ahead and place our new Apple logo, our new slash used Apple logo. And there we go. It's now installed and looking really good. Make sure to put some weight on it so the adhesive will sit there and dry and then we'll come back to it. 
All right, now that that's dry, let's go ahead and let's start transferring everything from the old housing into the new housing. All right, there we go. We got the motherboard out. Now let's go ahead and put all the new parts in the new housing. All right, went ahead and switched everything that I needed over, all the small little screws and stuff. Also, I wanna say, if you're doing one of these, make sure you put the little SIM card eject tool thing in there. Because if you don't, then you gotta take everything back apart and put that little inky dinky pin in. And it's really annoying. I speak from experience. It sucks. So now that we have all that in there, let's go ahead and let's get the motherboard in. All right, so I had some trouble on that one. Uh, so I went ahead and fixed it. I had to replace the little uh, antenna band as this one did not want to connect properly. So luckily I did have a spare. So let's keep going. Uh, we don't have much to really do now. We just have some final screws to put in and then we can go ahead and move on to the screen. Actually, we are ready to go and move to the screen. So let's go ahead and let's do that. So we have the new screen right here. Let me move this parts out the way. We have a new screen right here. And we have our 
old screen right here. So let's go ahead and let's transfer the home button and the earpiece slash front camera onto this new screen. All right, and there we go. Now the home button is in. Go ahead and give it a quick clean. Just to get some of the fingerprints off. We will be cleaning this up a little bit more when we put the phone back together. So we'll grab the phone right here and we're gonna test it out. We have a new battery right here. Give everything a quick plug in. Right, and let's power it on. All right, good news so far. Home button, vibration motor are working. All the buttons are working. Uh, I didn't plug the front camera in, so we can't test that right now. Go ahead, and go ahead and give the screen a test. Yep, screen is good. All right, awesome. We can go ahead and now, all right, let's check the battery health real quick. Yep, 100%. So. Let's go ahead and power it off and finish putting it all back together. All right, so we got the new battery right here. We're gonna go ahead and install it right now. All right, cool. Battery's now in, let's go ahead, we'll put the seal on, and then we can finish this up. Alright, there we go, the seal is now on, let's go ahead and let's put the screen on. set that up there and let's go ahead and put the plates on and there we go the plates are now installed let's go ahead flip it back around and turn it on and test it all out before we close it up We'll put the new SIM card tray in. Now I do normally like when I'm making these cu uh, custom phones, replacing the charge port, but I just didn't do it this time. So, eh, oh well. All right, it is on. Go ahead and test the screen. Yep, screen is working. Let's go ahead and test the front camera. Taking a sec. 
Okay, rear camera works. And front camera works. Awesome. So everything seems to be working. So let's go ahead and let's close it up. Get that crunch. There we go. A little bit tricky there. Make sure it's all sealed up. And we can go ahead and throw the bottom screws back in. And there we go. Go ahead and take the peel off. And we will go ahead and throw on a screen protector. Kind of a sucky apply, but oh well. And we're done. So yeah guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Also, feel free to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So yeah guys, that's it. This iPhone 7 Plus turned out fantastic looking. Uh... Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.